How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make fire with ice and snow. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can see the latest videos. What I'll do is just use heat from my hands. Slowly start to melt the ice. You want to have the bag as clean as possible. And whatever snow and ice you're collecting, make sure you get all the leaves and all the other junk out of it. Make it a little easier. Also, when you twist the bag, make sure you're taking all of the air out of the bag. You don't want to twist it and then have a big air pocket in the top. So twist down far enough that you don't have any air pockets inside the bag. Another thing that was helping me was to take this little end piece and press that in and then actually squeeze the bag together to make it more round. That helped out quite a bit. The bundle, I just take long pieces of dry grass and tie it at the bottom here and then make a little, a little nest here that you can put some dry leaves in and then it helps you be able to fold it over. And next I'll take some dark colored dry leaves and just start to crumple them up and smash them all into little pieces. Now that we have this all crumpled up, we'll start to pull the, the larger pieces off at the top, and you'll see we're left with very fine pieces at the bottom. We'll take some of these like long veiny pieces that are all stuck together and stuff those into the bottom kind of fill the cracks here but we still want air to be able to move up from underneath and I'll take some of the larger pieces stick them down I don't just want to drop all the, the fine pieces on right away because it'll just fall right through push the pile together and start picking the big pieces off the top And then you'll eventually be left with like a really fine, almost like a powder at the bottom. And this really fine stuff is what you're going to want to put on the top. Oh, those are big chunks. Try to get those big chunks out of the way so I can get that really fine stuff. And the fine stuff is what's going to light and stay lit and then it'll continue to burn everything else instead of just burning the one piece there's a lot of big pieces there's a lot of gaps so it'll just burn the one piece and then pull and then it stops
So another thing to consider when making the bag, the ice in the snow is going to take up less room in the bag than when you fill it originally. After it melts, it's not going to be that much. So you might have to go back several times and keep filling. Um, and collect as much as you can because the bigger sphere you have, the bigger ball, the stronger the focal point is going to be. And you can see in the video that as soon as you get that focal point on there, it should start smoking right away. So that's a good indicator that you're doing it right. If you wait, you know, three to five seconds and it starts smoking, then you're on the right track. If you're sitting there for 20, 30 seconds and it's not smoking yet, your focal point is not strong enough. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you feel like it, subscribe.